Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with a continued episode of Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 26, Part 2. I ended up stopping at uh, Example F in Part 1, and this is a continuation. Um, so you may need to go back to the other video to catch up with how we got to this point if you haven't done so already. So E says, each brick used in this project costs 82 cents and weighs 4.5 pounds. I already did E come on F. Okay, so F, a cubic foot of topsoil weighs between 75 and 100 pounds. How much will the soil in the planter weigh? Okay, so the first thing we need to know is what the volume of the soil is, and we calculated that in part C. So I am just going to bring in the answer from part C, and you can always go back and watch the video towards the end of part one to see how C got solved. Okay, so here we go. We know the volume of the soil in the planter from part C was 165 cubic feet. That was part C's solution. Okay, so we need to determine min and max weights. So I'll put min here, and I'll do max in red over here. So we're going to do minimum and maximum weight because it's between 75 and 100 pounds. So the minimum weight equals, so the minimum equals 75 pounds. times 165 cubic feet. So the minimum weight equals 12,375 pounds. Okay, the maximum weight is 100 pounds times that 165 cubic feet. So the maximum equals 16,500 16, pounds. So the soil in the planter is going to be between 12,375 pounds and 16,500 pounds. Okay, that's the end of that example. Now on to the sheet. If the topsoil costs 88 cents per each cubic foot, calculate the total cost of materials that will be used to construct the planter. Okay. So we want the total cost of the topsoil first. So we're going to do topsoil cost. And then we want the total cost of the materials. Okay, so the cost of the materials is part E. So if you want to see how that was done, go back to the previous video and see how E got calculated. I'm just going to use the answer from E and bring it in, and it was $1,717.56. That was the cost of the materials, $1,717.56. Okay, what we have to calculate is the cost of the topsoil, and it's 88 cents per cubic foot. So the cost is going to equal 0 0.88 times 165, okay, the weight, 165 cubic feet per cubic foot, not by weight. So 88 cents per cubic foot. So it's 0 0.88 times 165, which is the cubic feet. And that is going to equal 145.2. And since it's money, I'll put a zero here. That's $145.20. So the topsoil cost $145.20. From Part E, we calculated the cost of the materials to be $1,717.56. So the total cost equals cost of soil plus materials. So the total cost equals 
soil, 14520, plus the materials, 1717.56. So the total cost is going to equal 0 plus 6 is 6, 2 plus 5 is 7, 5 plus 7 is 12, carry the 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and 1 plus 7 is 8, and then we have 1,000 hanging out there. So the price of the total cost of the planter with soil is $1,862.76. Here's exercise two, design a feeder. So this was your turn to see if you can figure these things out. And so I'll give you a moment to do this, pause the video, come back, see if you got the correct answer. Okay, here we go. So it says, you did such a good job designing the planter that a local farmer has asked you to design, to, to design a feeder for the animals on his farm. Your feeder must be able to contain at least 100,000 cubic centimeters, but no more than 200,000 cubic centimeters of grain in it is full. The feeder is to be built of stainless steel and must be in the shape of a right prism, not a right rectangular prism. Sketch your design below, including dimensions. Calculate the volume of the grain that it can hold and the amount of metal needed to construct the feeder. The farmer needs a cost estimate. Calculate the cost of, the constru of constructing the feeder. If one half centimeter thick stainless steel sells for $93.25 per square meter. Okay, this is a very complex problem. I will bring in a diagram and an explanation and then we will solve it. Okay, so here's what the book is giving us. This is just one example. I just said it could not be, it could not be a what? A right, but not a right rectangular prism. They wanted it a different shape. So this diagram is a trapezoidal prism. So it says answers will vary. You could have chosen a triangular prism or something else. Below is an example using a right trapezoidal prism. You also could have done a cylinder, which is a circular prism. This feeder design consists of an open top container in the shape of a right trapezoidal prism. The trapezoidal sides of the feeder will allow animals easier access to feed at its bottom. That makes sense. The dimensions of the feeder are shown in the diagram. Okay, so we need to calculate the um, base area first, okay, because volume is volume equals base area times height. So the first thing I want to do is find base area. Well, this is a trapezoidal prism. So my base is actually going to be this. We'd have to turn it on its side. Okay, so if we turn that on its side, that is the base, and the height is 60. This is the height of that prism. Okay, so the base is a trapezoid, and the area, surface area of a trapezoid is one half base one plus base two times height. So that is going to be one half base one is 80 centimeters times base two, which is the top. 100 centimeters. And then the height is right here, 30 centimeters. So the base area is 80 times 100, which is 800. Half of 800 is 400. 400 times 30 is 12,000. Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared, not cubed, squared. This is area, surface area. Base one plus base two, oh, it's plus, that's why we don't, we add them. So centimeters plus a centimeters, one centimeter times a centimeter is centimeters squared. I thought that was plus. So now I need to change this. My apologies there. 80 plus 100 is 180. Half of 180 
is 90. 90 times 30 is 270. 2,700. Okay. 80, 100. Yes, 2,700 centimeters cubed. So that is my B. Volume is base times height. So now I know my base is 2,700 centimeters squared. Times the height, and the height is 60 centimeters. Okay. Okay, I found myself squeezing in too much, in too little of a space, so I moved this over here. So I just moved everything else here over here. So volume equals base times height. Volume equals 2,700 centimeters squared times the height, which is 60 centimeters. So the volume is going to equal three, let's see, three zeros. Seven times six is 42, carry the four. Six times two is 12, plus four is 16. So it's 162,000, 162,000 centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters. So the volume of the solid prism is 162,000 cubic centimeters, so the volume that the feeder can contain is slightly less depending on the thickness of the prism. Okay? So there's my answer. That is the end of lesson 26. Go do your problem set.